So we are going to start the session. So we are going to start the session. we are going to start the session hello so we are going to start hello. the session yes 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 hello. Hmm? So we are going to start Hello. the session. Yes, yes. What? So we are going to start Hello. the session. Yes, yes. We are going to start the session. Yes, yes. I want to have a session now. So we are going to start the session. Yes, yes. I want to have a session now. We can discuss. So we are going to start the session. Yes, yes. I want to have a session now. We can discuss. So we are going to start the session. Yes, yes. I want to have a session now. We can discuss. So we are going to start the session. Yes, yes. I want to have a session now. We can discuss. So we are going to start the session. Yes, yes. I want to have a session now. We can discuss. So we are going to start the session. Yes, yes. I want to have a session now. We can discuss. So we are going to start the session. Yes, yes. I want to have a session now. We can discuss. So we are going to start the session. Yes, yes. I want to have a session now. We can discuss. So we are going to start the session. Yes, yes. I want to have a session now. We can so we are going to start the session. Yes, yes. I want to have a session now. We can discuss. So we are going to start the session. Yes, 
So we are going to have four sessions, one in the morning at nine o'clock, one in the afternoon at one o'clock, one in the evening at five o'clock, and one in the night at 9 p.m. So I'm going to give you in bits and pieces for the morning badge, afternoon, evening, and night badges. We have all together four badges. So nine o'clock, one o'clock, 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. So in the afternoon, 
batch it's a 1 pm 1300 hours indian standard time we are going to have this on a regular basis and all the regular students who are in the afternoon batch they can join this and who are in the evening batch they can join at 5 pm and night batch they can join at 9 pm and morning batch they can start at 9 am so if uh, the students who are free the examples will be different but the subject will be the same so different examples if you want to let's attend multiple sessions no problem you are free to attend in the morning batch or afternoon or evening or you can attend all the batches no problem so it is very important that you attend at least one session that's enough but if it is possible you can attend all the four sessions also there is no limit or bar you have to attend only morning batch morning session afternoon batch afternoon session is not like that you are free to attend all the four sessions and today it is open but from tomorrow onwards it's regular students only will come limited i'll give you a code and you have to take that code and you have to join because this is only for my regular students only regular students and you cannot give this code to anybody else yeah so fine Right, after the listening, we are going with the reading. Um, the listening test. Today, I'll teach you the basics of listening, how you have to do the listening. Based on the official guide, based on the official guide by the experts at Kaplan Test Prep. Experts, follow the experts' guidelines. And then the second one is the official OET uh, nursing or medicine, anything is the same. It's a common. Listening is common. So this is the second one. I'm going to teach you a number of things. So just follow these points. Okay. And the third one is the nursing book or the medicine uh, the listening uh, test. Right. So, these are the two books and apart from that we are going to handle some other things. Ah, okay. hmm. ah. Okay, everything clear? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay, no problem. You can talk later. Okay. 
So, now listening. What is this listening? Right. Now here, the subtest, the listening subtest, the listening subtest duration. Okay. This is right forty five minutes. So the listening subtest is for forty five minutes, it's not for one hour. Remember that. It's for 45 minutes. I'm going to teach you all the strategies today. The basic points which you have to, because from tomorrow onwards, it will be serious sessions. So subtest duration. Yeah. So 45 minutes. And then content. That is the content. Content the three tasks. Many people, doctors also, they ask me, Sir, is it different? Is this for reading? Is listening for uh, all doctors or only nurses? They don't even know. Okay, they don't even know. So three tasks common to all 12 professions. So content. Three tasks, part A, part B, part C. So three tasks we have, and these are common to all professions. So three different types of tasks. So these tasks, Will display what? So these tasks, okay, shows candidates can can do what? Yeah. This shows that candidates can follow and understand a range of health related spoken materials such as patient consultations and lectures. Patient consultation and lectures. So it shows candidates can follow and understand a range of health related spoken materials such as patient consultations and lectures. Part A and part, part A, there will be two texts. They are consultations with a professional and part C will be lectures 
and part B will be extracts of either lectures or consultations. Mostly lectures. So you have to know what the texts are asking you to do. So you should follow. You are not getting B grade means you are not able to follow. You are not getting B grade means you are not able to understand. You are not able to, you know, that, uh, that uh, distinction. That's talent, that speciality. You don't have, that's why you don't get a B grade. That's the point. So if you are getting a B grade, that means you can follow and you can understand different types of health related spoken materials. You can understand the patient consultations and you can understand the lectures also. That is what is told here. It's very important. Just want to pass, I'll do the test and I'll clear out the OET. I want to crack the OET. It's meaningless. So what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to learn the speaking skills, the listening skills, the reading skills, and the writing skills. You have to learn. There is no other option. You have to master. You have to develop an insight to all the four skills. Yes. So you should understand, you should follow. If you cannot follow, you will not get scores. You should understand. If you cannot understand, you will not get scores. Arrange different types of health related spoken materials. If you don't understand these health related spoken materials, you will never, you will never clear OET. You write five times, you write 10 times, you will never clear. Because you're not able to understand, you're not able to follow, because you yourself don't know. You have no talents. That's why you cannot clear. That's very clear. What he is speaking, you're not able to understand. So that is very, very essential. So having done that, these are the three things. We are now coming to the point. <laughs> so, The speaking subtest. Okay, the speaking subtest is specific to each profession and is designed to assess the ability to use English appropriately in the relevant professional context. So this So the speaking subtest is specific to each profession so writing and speaking both but we are bothered about speaking here it is specific to nursing profession separate medicine profession separate 
and it is designed to assess the ability. If a person is getting C grade, that means his ability is below the average. If a person, if a nurse is getting A grade, that means his knowledge is beyond average or above average. And to use English appropriately in the relevant professional context, that means nursing context. You should know that. People don't want to learn and they just want to pass OET. How is that possible? Because it is telling here, the speaking subtest is specific to each profession. And it's the question paper or the task it is designed to assess the ability to use. If you cannot use English properly, you will not get a B grade. That's what he's telling. A nurse, if she is able to use English appropriately, average level at least, she can get B grade. In the nursing context, doctor in the medicine context, like that. So it is very important that you have to follow these things. Next. There is no excuse. There is no excuse. Oh, that is regarding speaking. So listening is common. So we are not bothered about the speaking now. We're only bothered about the listening test. The listening subtest. So the listening subtest is designed to assess the ability to understand spoken okay this is it the listening subtest it is designed to assess the ability to understand spoken english in contexts related to general health and medicine so you have to understand if a candidate is not getting B grade, that means he does not have the ability to understand spoken English in context related to general health and medicine. Why I am not getting good score in listening? This is the reason why. Because I cannot understand spoken English, especially in subjects or contexts related to general health and medicine. I'm not very perfect. That's why I'm not getting excellent scores in the listening subtest. So what I have to do, I have to learn and I have to understand there is no other option. It's do or die. Then next. So the listening subtest. So this is common. To all professions.
So the listening subtest is common to all professions. There is no excuse. Everyone has to do this. The same question paper. There is no different question paper for listening, for medicine, nursing, separate. No, it's common. And many people do not know this also. Right, now let us see the listening part. So, the listening subtest consists of three parts and a total of 42 question items. You'll hear each recording once and you are expected to write your answers while listening. Then and there in the question paper itself. There are many people who don't realize this and they write on separate paper and they're sending that paper to me. I don't understand how many times I tell them they don't understand. Simple common thing. Write on the question paper itself. Don't write on a separate paper. So here, so 42 questions. So 12 plus 12, 24. Part B, 6. So 30 plus part C, 6 plus 6, 12. Total 42 questions. All the three parts together take 25 minutes to complete. And the listening subtest has the following structure. So I'm going to show you all these things so that you can plan well. So part A. Part A. Is consultation extracts. You have the consultation extracts. Right. Part A assesses your ability, 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 ability. That means if you are not able to put good score in part A, that's you are not capable. See the wrong way round. See the other way round. If you are scoring less in A, that means you are not able to identify specific information during a consultation. That's it. That's very clear. Sir, I'm not able to score excellent result in part A because you are not able to identify specific information. You are able to identify generic information or specific information. What do you mean by generic information? What do you mean by specific information? Write down the difference. Generic information means general. Specific information means specific, particular. What do you mean by generic and what do you mean by specific? Generic name and specific name. Brand name is specific name. Generic name is common name. For example, doctor. Doctor is a generic name. 
Simon Peter is the specific name. So, you know, there are some generic names and there are some brand names. Physiotherapist and physiotherapist is a generic name. And what is the name of the physiotherapist that is specific name? For example, hand is generic. Right hand is specific. Hand is generic. Elbow is specific. Leg is generic. Knee. or toes or ankles okay so which specific part the right one or the left one so this is called specific information just listening to something and writing is not important because you are going to listen generic information and writing you are writing leg which leg right leg So that is specific information, particular leg, not leg. It is particular leg, right leg or left leg. Upper arm or lower arm, arm is correct. Upper arm or lower arm. Hand is correct, but which one? Okay, left hand or right hand. So you should understand what he is telling exactly. Specific information you need. So, for example, he's telling about 60 years and already more than is written. So, no need to write the arrow mark saying the above and no need to write above also because more than is already there. Already more than is there. If you write above again, in the audio, you'll hear the words above 60 years. And in the question paper, it is already there. More than is already there. So you need to write only more than already there. So no need to write above again because more than above is wrong. So that is called specific information. When something is already there, you can eliminate that one. So you have to be very careful. Some information is already given. If it is already given, then why are you writing it again? So many people don't know these simple rules. And because they don't follow these rules, they do a lot of mistakes. So part A assesses your ability to identify specific information. I am not able to get 10 marks in part A, sir out of 24. Why? That means you are not able to identify specific information. That's it. Within five minutes, you have to identify all these things. And you will listen to two five-minute health professional patient consultations and you will complete the health professional's notes using the information you hear. That's very clear. And what you hear, that only you are going to use. You are not going to use anything different. You are going to use only what you are going to hear. That's it. Nothing else. Then next. Next one is part B. Part B. Yeah. Now, Part B talks about short workplace extracts. Extracts means points. Short extracts. That means from a taken from a bigger one. 
there is a passage and this is the middle of a passage somebody is giving a lecture from that lecture one part you are picking out that is called an extract extract means extracted from a bigger whole a lecture is there a demonstration is there in that one something in the middle is picked up and taken and used so part b assesses your ability <laughs> i am not able to score in part b because i am not able to identify the detail or gist or opinion or purpose of short extracts from the healthcare purpose workplace so what is it about is it an opinion or is it a detail or is it a gist or is it a purpose i have to identify those things then i will listen to six one minute extracts it may be team briefings it may be handover or it may be health professional patient dialogue and i will answer one multiple choice question for each extract one question one extract that's all so this is how i am going to see for example there is a question of drugs there is a question of uh, insulin injections so there will be a demonstration and there will be a lecture or something from that one paragraph will be taken and that will be given to you as a spoken paragraph and you listen to the audio and there will be a question and one question and there will be three options and only one option is correct and the other two options are wrong so those are based on you are able to identify the detail or the gist or the summary or the opinion of somebody or the purpose of short extracts and all these extract of taken from healthcare pro workplaces and we we'll listen to six one minute extracts and we are going to answer these things then next kalpana ya istana nanavistana okay so next so what you have to do is you have to see you have to you have to learn you have to learn ah you have to learn then only you can be able to identify otherwise you cannot so learning is the key point if you are not able to score that means you are not capable if i am not able to score that means i am not capable that's it don't say that this is difficult that is difficult say that say that i am not capable so i want to learn and i want to acquire this ability that's it nothing is difficult only you are not working hard for that so this is regarding part b everywhere you see it is ability only if you are not scoring that means you are not able that's all part c this is part c part c also assesses your ability so if you are able you will score good marks if you are not able that means if you are not capable then you will not score good marks part c assesses your ability to follow a recorded presentation or interview on a range of accessible healthcare topics you will listen to two different 5 minute extracts and you will answer six multiple choice questions for each extract so for each extract six questions will be there 
and for each question four options will be there and only one option will be the right answer and all the three options will be the wrong answers you should know these things if you can understand then only you can go ahead otherwise it will be very difficult for you to score good results okay so unless and until you score unless and until you learn you cannot score good results hello yeah anita did you not attend class why you did not join i'm in the class now okay okay i'm in the class now afterwards i'll talk to you hmm yes so here now it's very clear now your ability to identify the detail gist opinion or purpose of short extracts from the healthcare workplace so you will have to listen six one minute extracts each one will have one minute of audio one minute approximately and you listen to them and you will answer these questions fine you have to be very selective at first and careful you have to reason properly until and unless you reason properly you cannot get these things so you will listen to two different 5 minute extracts 5 minutes extracts and you will answer six multiple choice questions for each extract that's very clear here each extract is for 5 minutes extract 1 is 5 minutes extract 2 is 5 minutes and in that you have six questions to answer if you are able you can score if you are not capable you cannot score that's the meaning you means i a candidate a candidate can score if he has the capability if he is incapable he cannot score this so focus on these things which i am telling you now because nobody tells you these things i must explain you because these are very important so that's it so this is regarding the listening so here now listening listening here so test takers guide to oet this is a guide i am going to show you all these points now Yes, test takers guide to OET. So part A. Okay. So part A. So part A, 
listening part A. So what are you supposed to do in this part A? So remember, in part A, you listen to a recording of two consultations between a health professional and a patient. You take notes while you listen, while you listen, not afterwards. When you are listening only, you have to take notes. This part of the test usually lasts around 15 minutes. So this part A will last around 15 minutes. And before you attempt the practice test, consider some important tips below. Everyone will be asking, give me some tips, give me some tips, give me some tips. Why don't you follow these tips? These are very special tips. They are already given. Why should you go and beg everyone, give me some tips? Is everything is there? Why don't you follow them? So these are the tips that I'm going to give you. All right. Some do's. What are you supposed to do? Do what? Do something. So here, so this is, use the subheadings to guide you. Use the subheadings to guide you. Fine. So when you use the subheadings, it will be very easy for you. I'll show you later when I'm going in the deep. I'll show you all these things. So use the subheadings to guide you. Number one. Now let us see the next one. Give specific rather than general information. How many times I told you? I told you easy to difficult. Okay. General to specific. Known to unknown. Simple to complex. I told you number of times. Give specific rather than general information from the recording. For example, if he tells you, okay, if he tells you um, hip replacement, hip replacement, what type of hip replacement? Total hip replacement or normal? Is it right or left? Right hip replacement or left hip replacement? Is it total replacement or not? So that is called specific information. Specific information means clarity in the message. If you say arm, he broke his arm or his uh, fractured knee. Now fractured knee, knee was fractured. Knee is not important here. Which knee is important? Left knee or right knee? Left shoulder or right shoulder? So that is called specific information. General information. What is general information? Leg, knee, shoulder, elbow, wrist. All these are general information. And specific information is Left shoulder or right shoulder? Left knee or right knee? 
So this is how specific, specific means particular, not general. If you say leg, leg is common. It may be left leg or it may be right leg. That means you are confusing. There is no clarity. There is no perfection. You're not able to catch it properly. That's it. You're saying leg is fractured. Which leg is fractured? You are making me ask another question. Are you not able to identify which leg it is? Don't you know even a small boy will ask leg is fractured. Which leg daddy? Left leg or right leg? You tell my leg is paining. My leg is aching. Then he'll ask you, Dad, which leg? Yes, UKG boy will ask. Don't you have the knowledge of a UKG boy? My hand is aching. My head is aching. Left side or right side, Dad? Okay. So you should be very clear. That is called clarity, specific, means clarity, means perfection. Do you think just if you write a hand, you'll get the mark? No. Hand is correct. But which hand? There are many situations where the doctors operate wrongly. Okay? Because of miscommunication. Already right leg is damaged and they operate on the left leg. And that again damaged because of this fellow. This is called stupidity. So if perfection is not there, that means it is not wisdom. If it is not wisdom, that means it is stupidity itself. A small child is asking you, when you say, my leg is hurting me, then he will ask you, which leg dad, left one or right one? That means you cannot uh, make even the uh, uh, clarity for the even a small UKG boy. Even they will ask you. That means your message is not clear. He is asking you again another question. Which leg dad? That means your Communication is not perfect. Half knowledge is dangerous. General information is half knowledge. Specific information is perfect. Wisdom. Be careful. I don't know whether you understand what I'm telling or not. That is not my problem. I know that I'm very clear. Many people don't want to attend these sessions. Let them. That's not my problem. That's not your problem. Yes. So here. Fine. Yes. Then coming to the point. The depth of the point is very important. The depth of the point is very important. Try to understand. Because sometimes many students say, so we are not able to hear sometimes. So you can um, control your volumes there. You can control your volumes there. This is not for one person. These are for many different places, many different locations. That's okay. You can always control your volume. Fine. So please. The next one is,
the don'ts. There are many things that happen in between. Because you are working from home and I'm working from home here. There are many intermediaries. And until and unless the voice dominates, yeah, it will not go into the brains. So that is what I mean to say. So no problem. Right. Control your volumes. That's better. Fine. Next one is. Don't. Next one is don'ts. So don't do some things. So don't do some things. Now let us see here. Don't jump ahead or back. Don't. First question will come first. Next question will come next. First question will come first. Last question will come last. Middle question will come middle. So they will have an order. Please don't shout. So, so don't jump ahead or back. So there is a sequence of the recording. So one by one after one after one. So they will come. So it's very clear. If you follow the sequence, it is very essential. You will definitely get the answer. Don't panic. Don't panic. Be relaxed. Be cool and be composed. Be relaxed, cool and composed. Then next. Yeah. Next, next point is so do not write full sentences. Do not write full sentences. A word or short phrase is sufficient. When a word is enough, write one word. When a short phrase is enough, write one short phrase. No need to write full sentence. Remember that. So, not necessary. Avoid. Yes. Don't waste valuable time using an eraser or correct a mistake if you make one. Simply cross out any words you don't want the person marking your paper to accept. This takes a lot less time and you will not be penalized. 
So no need erasing that, this, this, that. If you have time, you can do that later. But no need. You just strike it off and write the correct answer. That's all. That's understood. So you need not waste your time on erasing and rewriting like that. Just strike it off. That's what he's telling. Don't waste your time. Okay, fine. Because time is very important here. Okay, that is regarding part A. That is regarding part A. Okay, now we are going to part A. Yes. So this is enough for now. So we are going to only part A now of listening. Only part A of listening. One extract we'll do today. Now, part A, one extract we'll do. Yes. Yes. Fine. Now let us see here. We have some questions here. One to 12 questions. One to 12 questions. So this is only one page. So what I'm doing is Only this one page we are taking now. Yeah. So you hear an obstetrician. So obstetrician is talking to a patient. And the patient's name is Melissa Gordon. And he's telling one to 12 questions. And complete the notes with a word or short phrase. No need to write full sentence. And you have 30 seconds for preparation. In the 30 seconds, what you are going to do? So to look at the notes means to study the notes. Okay, to understand the notes. This is called listening comprehension. Melissa Gordon, we already know. It is there here itself. Melissa Gordon. Now, first think about the headings and subheadings. Patient. Medical history. Baby's father. Points raised. So these are the four points. First one is patient. Then second one is medical history. Third one is baby's father. Fourth one is points raised. So these are the four points. So we'll talk about patient. So what about the patient? and about his medical history, and about the father, and about the points raised. So fine. Now here, this Melissa Gordon works. So this is about his work. This is about work. This is about work. Okay, about work. So what is the work of this person? He works as A. He works as A. Try to understand here. He works as A. A is a vowel. 
So the next two word will start with a consonant. A banker, a cashier, a teacher, a doctor, a salesman, like that. And then a accountant is wrong. A officer is wrong. So like that, you have to see how it suits. Works as a policeman. Policewoman. Melissa is a lady. So policewoman. So like that. So you have to be very clear regarding this one. So here you will get a noun. So here, what is the answer for this one? So there are two options here. What will come here? Noun will come here. Number one, and noun will come here. Okay. That is name of a profession. So it is name of a profession. Name of a profession will come. So it's singular number. Singular number. Singular number. Next one, it is common noun. Common noun. So you can understand these things. So it is a noun, name of a profession, singular number, common noun. So these are the four things which are very, very essential. Right. Then next one, has occasional, has occasional. So here also noun will come. Has occasional headache or something like that. It may be singular or plural. So you have to think something. Is allergic to. Okay. Is allergic to something. Is allergic to something. So it is noun. So he's allergic to something. Has a dash diet. What type of diet? Vegan diet, vegetarian diet, non-vegetarian diet, or what, what type of diet? Diabetes diet. So what type of diet? This is the type of diet. Okay. What type of diet it is? Next one. Non-smoker, this will be her second child, needed dash treatment before first pregnancy. Needed dash treatment. So what type of treatment? What type of treatment? Yes. You should understand what type of treatment she needed. So type of treatment. Dash treatment. So type of treatment. That's very important here. Then after pregnancy, first baby presented as. So presented as. What type of baby? Presented as dash type of baby. So type of baby. Okay, first baby presented as. So as what? So you have to know. So what do you name that baby? Premature baby? Or what, what type of? Okay. So baby. Then a dash required during intervention. Something required. 
something. So what is that something that is required here? Something is required. What is that something which is required? Maybe some medication, maybe some drugs, maybe anesthesia, maybe something else. Okay, what is that something required during intervention? Next one, after giving birth, had problems with. Okay, after giving birth, had problems with the dash. Had problems with something. Had problems with something. What is that something? Okay. Helped by midwife. Okay, maybe uh, after giving birth, had problems with. After birth, what problems there may be there? Maybe breathing problems. Maybe feeding problems. Maybe some other problems. Okay. So, what are the problems? Main problems will be like uh, breathing problem or feeding problem. These are the problems normally children have. So, you have to think like that. Next one is family history of. So, what is the family history? Family history of something. So, some disease or sickness. Some uh, difficult, some problem or ailment or a disease. Problem or a disease or sickness or ailment. Child from previous marriage has a dash. So previously she was married. Earlier marriage, she had a child. She has a child from the previous marriage. Okay, she has a she has a child from the previous marriage, and that child had something, has a something. What is something? Okay, what what is that something she uh, the child has? Not keen on amniocentesis, not interested. Enquired the possibility of dash testing. What testing? Testing what? What is this? What testing? What type of testing? She was asking. Provided her with a leaflet on preparing dash for new baby. So preparing someone or something. Someone or something. Maybe preparing house. Maybe preparing the other children. Maybe preparing the other, you know, uh, members of the family. Because sometimes the elder members will not allow the younger members. They say we, they don't want to share their parents with uh, themselves. So that's what it is. Someone or something. Prepare someone or something for the new baby. Though that is how it will be. So now we are going to see these things. One by one, I'll play the audio. And you write down the answers. Occupational English Test Practice Test 1 Listening Test This test has three parts. In each part, you'll hear a number of different extracts. At the start of each extract, you'll hear this sound. You'll have time to read the questions before you hear each extract, and you'll hear each extract once only. Complete your answers as you listen. Write down at the end of the test, twice. you'll have two minutes to check your, your answers. And there you have to write the answers. Part A. In this part of the test, you'll hear two different extracts. In each extract, a health professional is talking to a patient. For questions 1 to 24, 
complete the notes with information you hear. Now look at the notes for extract one. Extract one, questions one to twelve. You hear an obstetrician talking to a patient called Melissa Gordon. For questions one to twelve, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. You now have thirty seconds to look at the notes. So this first meeting, Mrs. Gordon, is mainly a chance for you and I to get to know each other.、Uh, I'll ask about your medical history, and this is also an opportunity for you to ask me any questions that you've got at this point. Sure.、Uh, so some background. What kind of work do you do? I have a job at an engineering company. I'm a computer programmer. I currently do four days a week, but I hope to reduce that to three after my maternity leave. Ah, excellent. So tell me about your medical health. Do you have any conditions I should know about? Well,、uh, I have asthma attacks, but they don't happen often. I lost about ten kilos, and that certainly helped. I have an inhaler, but、I、hardly ever use it. Oh, I should also let you know that I come out in terrible hives if I take penicillin, but、mm. not other things. I'm, I'm fine if I eat nuts, for example.、Uh -huh. I have a fairly healthy lifestyle. I'm a vegetarian, and I've never smoked. Good.、Uh, I'm afraid I don't go to the gym or anything, but I walk to work and、uh, generally keep active. Oh, that's good. So this is your first pregnancy?、Uh, no, I have a daughter called Ella. She's three now. Ah, and did everything go smoothly that time?、Uh, there were no major problems during the pregnancy itself, but it took me quite a time to fall pregnant the first time. After having various tests, I was given some fertility drugs. Oh, what were they called? It's on the tip of my tongue.、Um, oh, never mind. It'll come back to me. This time, though, I didn't need any help.、Oh, it's no problem. What about labour last time round? Oh, that was a nightmare. Though everything, thank goodness, worked out in the end. It was a breech birth. It looked as if I might have to have a cesarean, and I really didn't want that. I was pleased I managed without an epidural too. They had to use forceps to get Ella out, but I didn't need any stitches, so that was okay.、Mm. Unfortunately, though, I had some difficulties after the birth too. I was desperate to start breastfeeding, but that didn't work out. At least not until I was given some guidance by the midwife. Okay. So, can I ask you about the baby's father?、Uh, sure. That's my husband, Paul.、Uh, there's something in his family history that I should tell you about. I think uh -huh. his uh, grandfather and father both had epilepsy, though he hasn't developed it himself.、Uh -huh. I'm not sure if that means his children have a greater chance of having it or not. Oh, also, he has a child from his first marriage, and she has Down syndrome, so he gets a bit anxious when I'm pregnant. Oh, well, that's understandable, of course. We can discuss various testing options if you like.、Uh, you might want to consider amniocentesis, for example.、Mm, but that carries a risk of miscarriage, doesn't it? I, I don't want to go for that. I've heard about another test called、uh, CVS. Is is that something to consider? Well, it's certainly an option. However, that procedure, in fact, also carries a small increase in the risk of miscarriage,、oh. and you'd need to come to a decision fairly soon because it's normally carried out between weeks ten and twelve of the pregnancy. Well, I can tell you straight away that if there's more risk, then I wouldn't consider it. I know my husband will feel the same. Well, that's fair enough. So, is there anything else you'd like to ask me about today? Um, nothing urgent, but it'd be good to know more about how to get siblings ready for a new addition to the family. Uh huh. I want to make sure Ella doesn't feel threatened or replaced or anything. Well, there's a leaflet that many parents find helpful. Here we are. Have a look through that. Oh, thanks. That's great. I'm sure I'll have lots more questions at our next meeting. Yes. So now I'm going to show you the answers, and we can correct the answers. Okay. We can correct the answers now. So what I want you to do is, so I'll open the chat box here. 
Who is this Sujita Kobura? Mm. Don't shout. But is she there? She is not here. They don't know Simon, sir. No? Okay, fine. No problem. Huh. Right. So here we have question number one. So question one. Question number one. Okay, all of you type your answer and keep ready. Don't submit until I tell you. Type your answer and keep it ready. Don't submit, please. Only when I tell you to submit your response, you have to submit. Otherwise, no. So works as a dash. One, sorry, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. Nidhi Aurora, no need of writing capital letters. No need of writing capital letters because it is in the middle of the, no need, no need. And Matthew, no need C capital letter. Jyoti, no need capital letter C. So that's how you write. What about the others? So all of you, whenever in the middle of the sentence, it should be only small letter, not capital letter. Next. Okay. What about the others? Others are not active. No problem. Let's not bother about others. Then next one. Type and keep the next question ready. Don't submit. Okay. So type and keep it ready. When I tell you to submit, then you have to submit. Okay. So has occasional dash. Has occasional dash. Yeah. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. Okay. Next one will be question three. Only those people who are writing the answers will be given a permission to attend my next session that is reading. That's it. And don't ask me afterwards. If you're not serious, if you're not interested to follow my suggestions, don't come for the reading session which I'm going to give the next after lunch. Please. So next question number three. Okay. So type and keep your response. When I tell you to submit your response, then you have to submit. So is allergic to. So you remember in the middle of the sentence, you will not put a capital letter. That is, you have to remember. That is what you have to remember. Okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. So, Prashanti, right, and uh, Anne Matthew, wrong, spelling mistake. It is not penicillin, it's penicillin, penicillin. Then next to Anidhi, Reshma, Adiya, Jyoti. Why you wrote two times? One time is enough. So, Jyoti, uh, yeah. uh, Teresa, Nasreen, wrong, Dr. Nasreen. You have to write correct spelling, please. You have to write correct spelling. Okay. Right. So, Diana, spelling mistake. Okay. Diana, spelling mistake. Dr. Nasreen, spelling mistake. Bincy, right. Cinnamon, right. Okay. Fine. Next is question four. Only when I tell you to submit your response. You have to submit seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. So that is the fourth question. 
Annie Wright, Nidhi Wright, Prasanthi Wright, Vishma Wright, Adiya Wright, Diana Wright, uh, Teresa Wright, Nasreen Wright. Remember, I will not call you. Huh? If no, if your name is not there here, na, I will not call you, please. I will not call you for reading. And maybe you might have paid the fees, but I will not call you. This is a special session. Okay. These are, these are special sessions. Uh, next one, I will give only the serious students who are attending regularly for everything. Listen to me. Then question number five. Okay, question number five. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. Yes. Has anybody written capital letter? Nidhi is spelling mistake. Nidhi is not fertility. Fat, fatality is that is different. But this is fertility. For are silent. Are silent. Okay. Then next one. Jyoti Sridhar has written vegetarian here. I don't know why. Nasreen, Diana, uh, Jyoti, Adiya, Teresa, Jyoti, Binsi, and Nidhi. Yeah, correct. Yes, no problem. If you write wrong, you can correct it always. The baby, first baby presented as question. Okay. Six. Question six. Type and keep your answer ready. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. Yes. Next one. Question eight. Question eight. Question eight. Yes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. Question number eight. Seven, seven done. Question number eight, seven, no? Sorry. Sorry, that was seven. Previous question was seven. This is question eight. Okay, question eight. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. Cinemol, answer is wrong. It is one word. Dr. Nasreen, your second answer is wrong, Dr. Nasreen. It is one word, not two words. Uh, fine. One word. You cannot write two words. It is one word and one word and one word. Breastfeeding is one word. Yeah. Learn a new word, which is one word, not two words. Next one is uh, question nine. Question number nine, family history of. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. Okay, 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 all of you are written. Okay, next one. Child from previous marriage has. Okay, this is question number 10 now. Okay. Question 10. Question 10. Type and keep it ready. Child from previous marriage has something. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. Yes. Okay, Nidhi, 
wrong because d should be capital letter d should be capital letter nidhi d should be capital letter s should be small letter but d should d is the name of a person diana wrong it's a down syndrome d capital letter uh, and if you can write apostrophe s also it's okay adeya it is two words uh, not one word d capital letter down apostrophe s teresa d capital letter is required reshma d capital name of a person automatically capital letter should be there jyoti capital letter nasreen capital letter because it's the name of a person down is name of a person okay so jyoti yeah you can rewrite if you have already written the answer and it is wrong yeah yes if it is a name of a person you have to write capital letter that's what i am telling yes definitely no problem okay you do a mistake here that's okay but in the exam we have you should not do okay uh, so cinemol you also downs syndrome d o w n apostrophe s downs syndrome syndrome small letter again so all of you those who have done mistakes you can write again those who have done mistakes you can write again then next one question number 11 question 11 question 11 yeah reshma wrong down separate syndrome separated down apostrophe yes okay yes separate word yes so down separate and syndrome separate you have to write okay uh submit your yeah downs adeya yeah, apostrophe should be there after n apostrophe should be there after m okay question number 11 yes 7 okay question 11 question 11 yes okay fine 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 submit amniocentesis adia is not correct because already she has not keen on amniocentesis then how can you enquire about possibility of amniocentesis cvs right chronic villi sampling right cvs is enough diana cvs right okay next one question Twelve. Question number twelve. Okay. Provided her with a leaflet on preparing dash for new baby. Okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Submit. No need. You can write short form also. No problem. Not compulsory. Okay. Uh, Adeya, wrong because you wrote a capital letter. because in the middle of the sentence you will not write capital letter adiya adiya you will not write capital letter in the middle of a sentence c billing diana wrong diana your spelling is wrong write correct sense spelling s i b without i l i n g sibling sibling or siblings sibling or siblings if you write sibling you will have to write a sibling or plural siblings no need you have to write either singular or plural preparing a sibling for new baby or siblings for new baby okay like that then uh, prashanti seresa a sibling or siblings Re ready why you want to write ready jyoti that is what i told you preparing means ready preparing is there what do you mean by preparing means make them ready so you need not write ready so sibling reshma spelling mistake double b no single b S I B L I N G sibling. Write again. Nasreen, Adiya, siblings. Yes, a small letter. Again, write again. And Bilji, siblings or a sibling. Uh, siblings, Jyoti. Then Adiya, siblings. Right. Uh, Diana, sibling or a a sibling or siblings. Right. Uh, is it correct, sir? Which one is correct? I don't know now. Okay. Nidhi Arora, twelve by twelve, one spelling mistake and one capital mistake. Should I cut two marks? Yes, you have to cut two marks. You have to cut two marks, no doubt. Now, so now here, so I did not tell you. No, I did not show you. Wait, wait, wait. I'll show you the paper now. 
Um, 80, 80, 80. No. 64. Yeah. Yes, here are the answers. 12 answers. View, read mode. Here are the 12 answers. Yeah, come in. Two minutes. Here are the answers. Computer, if you don't write, no problem. Programmer, you must write. Capital letters, no, 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 and no. Okay. Uh, so Down syndrome or DS or DNS or Downs bracket syndrome. If you don't write syndrome also, okay. Asthma is enough. Attacks, no use. Penicillin, if you don't write also, okay. Asthma attack or asthma attacks. Penicillin. So check this and write. Tick in your notebook. Tick in your notebook, please. If it is in the brackets, accepted. But if it is not in the brackets, it's a must. Programmer is a must. Asthma is a must. Spelling. Check everything properly. Everything should be proper. Everything should be proper. So that is it. So four answers. Correct it. No capital letter for computer and no capital letter for programmer. Asthma. No capital letter. Penicillin. No capital letter. Be careful. If it is wrong, it is wrong, is wrong. Vegetarian, no capital letter. Fertility, no capital letter. Breach, no capital letter. Forceps or four CPs. Then breastfeeding is one word. Remember, breastfeeding is one word. Epilepsy, okay. Down syndrome, you have to write like this. Down syndrome or DS or DNS or Downs, okay. Uh, next one, CVS or chronic Willis sampling, not villi. Villi is plural. Willis is singular. So whenever you write, you have to write in singular in between. Then sibling or siblings or brothers and or sisters. Anything is okay. Brothers and sisters or brothers or sisters. Or just write sibling or siblings. So now let us see your scores. I read somewhere there is OET. Don't deduct marks for spelling mistakes. Is this true, sir? Yeah, true, but not always. Spelling mistakes, if you can understand, then they will give. But if it is, for example, pneumonia, N E W new, okay, instead of P N E U, you write N E W, then they will give you. But not always, huh? Not always. If it is able to identify, then they will give. So don't think that every spelling mistake, no, no way, not always. It is correct. You say what you say is correct. But if the message is clear, if the message, sibling, and you write sibling, no, you'll not get it. Some medical terms, some medical terms which are clearly understood. If it is not understood, okay, instead of pneumonia, you write. Uh, uh, something else like uh, uh, instead of pneumonia, you write um, N E W is okay, but N U I is wrong. Pneumonia, if you write N E W, new M O MO N I A, NIA, then you they'll give mark, but if you write uh, P U N U M O, then you'll lose mark. That's all. There is no question. Be careful. It is not pneumonia. So it is pneumonia. That's it. If you don't know the spelling of some difficult words, then they will give. Not all. Sorry. That's very clear. So now total uh, score. Total scores out of 12. So you have to write, if it is 12 out of 12, you have to write like this, 12 out of 12. If it is zero out of 12, you have to write zero out of 12 like that. If it is six out of 12, write six out of 12. If you got, uh, how many marks you got, you write down. Yes. 
Prashanti, Adari Prashanti. Oh, she is online. Good. Students are coming. Yeah. Very good. Very good, very good. So, Sinimol, 10 out of 12. And then Nidhi, 10 out of 12. Adiya, 8. Jyoti, 10. Reshma, 9. Teresa, 8. Annie, 10. Then Prashanti, 12 out of 12. Okay. What about the others? Nasreen, 10. Annie, 10. Very good. Very good. Very good. So, now what I want you to do is uh, submit your feedback. Was the lecture useful for you? So write in one, two, three sentences. In the meantime, I'll talk to the students who got this course. Okay. First one, Prashanti, unmute please. Prashanti, unmute. Prashanti yes, got 12 out of 12. Prashanti. Can you yes, share sir. your experience, Prashanti? Yes, sir. Uh, before I don't know about this capital letter and small letter, sir. Like, um, as you said, now I understood when to use capital and small letter and regarding the names like Down syndrome, D's, capital. So I understood, sir. Otherwise, um, before I used to do the same, but after listening this lecture, before also once I saw your lecture or writing the small letters and... Uh, Big letters. I understood, sir, how to use and where to use. It's really helpful and useful. Okay. One small favor. Can you do for me? Yes, sir. Whenever you come, write down Prashanti Adari, okay? Ah, okay. Because good. there may be two or three Prashantis sometimes like that one, okay? I want okay, two sir. names. It is better for me so that I will uh, clearly identify because there are thousands and thousands, hundreds of people on okay, the internet. Sir. Who will come? We don't know. So sometimes yes. there will be, see, Jyoti, Jos is there, Jyoti Sridhar is there. See, you understand now? Okay, sir. I understood. So there are two people. One is Jyoti Sridhar, I know. But if she doesn't write Jyoti Sridhar, it will be very difficult for me to identify between Jyoti Jos and Jyoti Sridhar, right? Oh, okay, sir. Yes, so like sir. that one. So I am telling you, you know, many times I face this problem. So that's why I tell you, write two names. Okay, okay sir. Uh, okay, then sir. very good, very good. Was okay. this session beneficial for you? Yes, sir. Of course. You okay. Why do you think? All of you write two or three sentences. Well, all of you write two or three sentences. Yeah. Prashanti, what benefit did you gain from this session? Uh, so I understood, sir, what, how to write mainly because even with the small letter and big letters also we will lose the marks. I don't know until now. So now I understood clearly how to use. And uh, again, uh, how to recognize like um, before while checking during the 30 seconds what to expect the answer to be that also I understood, sir. How to recognize the answers. Okay, fine. Very good. Very good. Very good. Others, sir, write down one or two points. Okay. Then uh, next one, Annie Matthew. Hello, Annie. Hello, Annie. Hi. Yeah. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, Yeah, come sir. on. Share your experience. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, today, I know I came to know that uh, you you explained well in detail that uh, use the specific and the general. You some sometimes I also forget to write leg like, uh, in in writing. I got the mistake many times, but I forget to write the right leg or which the left leg. That is very useful, sir. You are giving you know better explanation, good explanation. Yeah. See, for example, sibling is there. Sibling means one sibling or many siblings. So singular or plural, that is called, uh, you know, specific information, clear information. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you have sir. to be very Thank clear. You. Is it one Thank sibling you. or many siblings like that? Okay. Okay. Thank you very okay. much, sir. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, next one, who got 10? Yeah, Dr. Nasreen. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, Sorry. Dr. Nasreen, where are you from? Uh, hello, sir. I'm from Pakistan, doctor. Yeah, I thought you are from Pakistan. Yeah, Nasreen, tell me. Share your experience with me. Uh, yeah, uh, sir, it's a very good lecture. And the way of uh, your explanation is very uh, good. 
and uh, you emphasize the things where we should um, where we are lacking basically so overall it was very good and um, your way of teaching is very very nice very nice mashallah i like okay. it right thank you very much thank you so much then uh ani nasreen then there is uh, yeah diana diana from maldives yeah share your experience diana Hello, Diana. Okay, uh, Nidhi Arora. Hello, sir. Hello, Nidhi. Um, yes, sir. I fully enjoyed the lecture. Um, as you explained everything in detail, and uh, it made it easier for me to understand how to recognize the answers. Um. Mm, for example uh, i never recognize like um i never think that i can find out like this like you gave it, you gave to the example about the walks you know uh, i never uh, think about it that i have to think about its noun but i have to think uh, listen about noun or something else and uh, what else new thing i learned um i always write my answer in the capitals like computer programmer i always use like c capital p you know program p capital so now i i didn't even knew that um we need to write in the normal you know we because this is obviously in between the line we are choosing the answers so yeah and the other thing what i learned today the capitals this is what i did mistake in the whole passage Okay. Yeah. Overall, it was really awesome class. I learned a lot of things that right. I Thank think I will right. improve in my marks now. Yes. Next, uh, Cinemol. Cinemol Agustin. Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, Cinemol. Share your experience. Uh, sir, first of all, I am new to this class, and uh, what I have to tell is, uh, um, I don't know how to use the capital letters uh, in beginning. and now i got the idea that to use the capital letters and this was very new to me and that's why i got a new information from this thank you sir okay fine yes okay then sri lata <laughs> sir good afternoon sir good afternoon sri lata share your experience sir i've just entered the class because i was uh, on duty so i just entered now Okay, no to... problem. Forget. So we I are going to have a right a reading session after this. All right, uh, sir. Is <laughs> then, it available uh, on uh, YouTube? Uh, the yeah, this is... will be. This is on the YouTube now. Okay, I will check back. Sir. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Then uh, Jyoti Jos, new candidate. Welcome to our platform. Can you share your experience, Jyoti Jos? Yeah, Jyoti Jos. Okay, fine. Then next, uh, Adiya. Hello, Adiya. You can share your experience. Okay, my battery is running low. Okay, then uh, we'll meet for the next session. I'm going to uh, send the link within forty-five uh, minutes, and after that one. after that one we will have the reading lecture a reading lecture okay you can just to contact me right this is my number 9877867360 9877867360 for this one you will add +91 +91 +91 Sir, one nine eight double seven eight. So, if you want, you can send any message to me, and uh, I'm closing the session now. Okay, a new batch started today. Okay, if anybody is interested to join in the sessions, you can contact me. New batch only serious students who want to excel. Those students come. I don't need students. I don't need students. I want those students who will give me marks and excellent results. ordinary students i don't want okay let ordinary students 
prepare on their own or do whatever they want. Those who are really serious, dedicated, hardworking, those who want to clear OET in the first attempt, they only come. Otherwise, don't come to me, please. Okay. If you don't want to give me time, don't come. Assalamualaikum. Kau mau saya medikurkina? Kerjaan dah mau dah, pakai mana? Mana gurun training? I'm very busy, so saya walaupun mana problem. Kerjaan dah mau, nak gurun sosai. Agak sedia orang kawal k